Hi, good afternoon. Today I wanted to get on to chat about a question that I have been getting from a lot of entrepreneurs and business-minded bloggers lately, which is how hard is it to write a book? So last week I was at an event for entrepreneurs designed to help them grow their businesses, up-level things, everything from mindset to strategy to actually getting things done. And one of the really big topics there was writing a book. There were several professionals there who help entrepreneurs write books, including myself. And I heard from a lot of people in having discussions when I told them what I do a lot of them actually have aspirations to write a book and hopefully write it soon. And one of the big questions that follows then that they always ask me is how long will it take to write a book? And I get it, especially whether you are a blogger who's working to build your blog into a business or whether you identify more as an entrepreneur you're really busy. You have a lot of stuff going on and you may not have time to write a book and you may not have the budget to hire somebody like me to write the book or put it together for you, sort of a heavy editing job, that sort of thing. Uh, those are all things that I've done for clients. But I also have a heart and a passion for those of you who don't have the budget to hire somebody. So I just thought I'd take a second to kind of walk you through the process. So first and foremost, I wanna introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Brombos of Blogger to Author. I am a number one best-selling author and I am obviously quite passionate about helping you get your book out into the world and really helping it, helping to simplify the process, helping to make it easier and helping you save time so that you're not wasting it on things that really aren't going to make a big difference when it comes to the impact of your book. So I'll jump back to the question of how hard is it to write a book and sort of a related question, how long is it going to take you to write your book? And I want to preface this discussion by saying that I do not know a lot about fiction writing. And so this is aimed at people who have non-fiction books. So if you're a fiction writer, it's a completely different beast. You do absolutely need to come up with it all on your own. It's not easy to be able to source content for the book from different places. So I want to make sure I'm abundantly clear on that before I get into more of a discussion. But as I've just alluded to, if you are a business owner who has been doing some content marketing, so bloggers, this is absolutely you. You're writing blog posts all the time. You very likely are also going live on Facebook or other platforms, maybe YouTube. Maybe you are a podcaster as well and you have audio or maybe you just record audio to add into your blog posts because it's super helpful. Whatever you're doing, you are creating content. Sometimes it's even in the form of a long blog post on social media. If you're helping somebody get past a sticking point, that's absolutely content as well. Uh, but if you have content to repurpose, it actually doesn't have to take that long to write your book. And especially if you have been at it for a while and you have a good amount of content, it's absolutely okay to take that content either take it directly if it's written or transcribe it if it's not, get it into that written format and put it together into a book. All you need to do then is do some editing, make sure it flows, make sure that it meets the needs of your reader. And that's why I recommend to all of my clients, really all of my followers, that you take the time to figure out who your book is for before you get any further in the planning process because that's really going to inform you as to what you should include in your book and really what you need to do. But once you're solid on that, make sure that your book is meeting your reader's needs and then it's as simple and I say simple, although it, uh, this is a sticking point for a lot of people, but 
uh, what you'll do is get it formatted and get it out into the world. Uh, I should also say that this is the process that self-publishers will follow and I really recommend that you consider self-publishing. There are some people who it won't be quite right for. Um, fiction authors can self-publish, but again, there are a lot of reasons why you may want to try to get a traditional publishing deal. Um, but for those of us who don't necessarily need our books to be in airport bookstores, who are using our books as a way to show thought leadership, and who are using our books as a way to really bring in new clients, a self-published book is going to be perfectly fine. It's going to be a lot faster to get out into the world, make it in uh, existence. And really that will also play into the difficulty of producing your book. Uh, but I'll let you know that self-publishing is absolutely doable. People do it all the time. And even if you're a better writer than you are a formatter, you can always hire somebody to format and or design your book. Um, so I guess my take home message and summary is this. If you dream of becoming an author or if you see the potential in really what a book can do for your business, it doesn't necessarily have to be super hard. If you don't have any content that you can repurpose, it'll take you a little bit more time, but also consider then if you know you want to write a book about something, creating content as you go. So for example, if I wanted to create a book about how to raise a puppy, for example, then I could start either writing blog posts that I think would be a good fit to go in that book, or I could do live videos and get transcripts, whatever it is, you don't necessarily have to set aside time just to write, like just on your book. You can also create new content with the expectation that you are going to take that and put it into your book. Uh, so my simple answer is or to the question, how hard is it to write a book is however hard you're making it. You can make it incredibly difficult on yourself. You can take the long route to get there. You can go back and forth about what you're going to write your book on and sort of get stuck in indecision. You can sit down to write your book and waste time on social media. But if you have a focused plan to write your book, if you have content that you can repurpose for your book, and if you are willing to make it a priority and make sure that you get work done on your book every single week, even if it's half an hour or an hour, you'll get there sooner than you think. So I hope this has been inspirational for you. Really, my point here is to really give you some insight into what it's like to self-publish a book and what it's like to create a book and just to show you how possible it can be. Um, and just a quick caveat, of course, it's at the end. If you do want to work with a traditional, a traditional publisher, the process will be a little different. You'll want to start by writing a book proposal. You'll still want to kind of have an outline, know what you want to talk about, but don't bother writing the entire book until you actually have um, a contract with a publisher and you've discussed with your editor what you want to do. So keep that in mind. And I really hope that you will consider the possibility of writing a book because it's going to be super powerful for your business. Like I said, there are a lot of high powered people at that conference that I was at and a lot of them are working on books or a book is on their to do list for 2018. I really think that this is going to be a major trend in the online business community, um, definitely through 2018, even into 2019 and beyond. So I just encourage you to, if this is something you want to do, get on it before everybody else jumps on that train, uh, because I do want you to be one of the first to be on top of the trend as opposed to somebody who's just following the trend. 
if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can also use, check out my services, both strategy and done for you services. You can find it blogger to author.com slash services. If you need help getting started, uh, definitely check out my five step guide to creating your first book. You can get that at blogger to author.com slash download. And like I said, comments, or questions, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Have a great day and good luck with your book. Happy writing.